On questions one through four, we have been asked whether or not these functions are periodic. So a good thing to keep in mind when figuring these out is to go back to that definition of what a periodic function is. And remember, a periodic function is a function whose output values repeat at regular intervals. So the key with doing this is looking for that repeating repeating amount and then also that it's occurring at equal intervals to on that input and so if i look at this very first problem i'll notice that you know right here i have an output value it's close to three but nowhere else on this function do i have an output value close to that and so this is not periodic and we would say it's not periodic because these output values aren't repeating in fact you'll notice that yes you know we have this oscillating pattern but each of these subsequent, you know, ups and downs gets sort of smaller and smaller and smaller. The amplitude's shrinking on this function, not getting bigger. And so, nope, it's not periodic. Just an FYI for these written out explanations here, check out the written solutions. I, I will basically have written out what I'm verbally giving you right now. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So on this next one, um, I can see, oh, I got this point right here. It's sort of coming up and then comes down. And it seems to be repeating right here. Now I'm going to do a quick check. This is seven units apart. Now I want to make sure that that's going to occur with some other similar points. So right here, I got a minimum at negative one. And I'll notice, okay, I got another minimum at six and between negative one and six is also seven so so far so good and i could do one last check you know along this decreasing line to here from negative two to five i got another seven so yes this is period periodic and its period is seven so there are our two graphs so let's check out our two tables so on the first one, you know, I'm looking at my output values and I'm like, ooh, I see repeating patterns. It goes negative five, negative one, two, six, two, negative one, negative five, negative one, two. All right, that looks good. Now I like to sort of as, you know, I might look, okay, so I have this negative five and I got a negative five down here. And then, you know, I'm gonna go, and I notice those are 12 units apart. I want to double check with a second set of points. So if I do take, let's say this two right here. So it went negative five, negative one, two, negative five, negative one, two. Are four and 16 also 12 units apart? 16 minus four is 12, check. So yes, oops, sorry about that. Yes, this is periodic with a period of 12. Now let's take a look at this next one. So on this one, again, I see this nice repeating pattern in my outputs. I go 12, 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12. Okay, but we want to double check. So here, okay, I have negative 8s at 12 and then also at 0. So that would be a distance of 8. And then if I go and I look at negative you know, the four, I'm going from negative five, oops, that's supposed to be a positive two. <laughs> Sorry about that. And if I go from five to two, that's mm, two minus a negative five, that's seven. So the difference here is this time my, in it. yes, the outputs are repeating, but they're not repeating at regular intervals. Notice this X, the inputs aren't counting by an equal amount. And you can sort of see, you know, I'm going to write them out just so you can sort of see for a minute. Notice this has a difference of three, three, but then we switch and we only add two. So while the output values are repeating in a pattern, the input values are not. And so this one is not periodic because the repeating pattern is not occurring at regular intervals.